Hey everybody, Big Anklevich here, podcaster, author, and carnivore, and it is day 74 of the Beef, Butter, Bacon, and Eggs Challenge that Marshall Latham and I are doing here on Big Anklevich on Health. All right, before we go to the videos, uh, once again, your daily reminder to check out our Facebook group and uh, join up and, you know, come and help us support each other. It'd be pretty awesome. All right, let's see the videos. It is day 74, and today was a uh, weird day. Uh, I've been going for a walk every morning for a long time, and today was the first time I wasn't able to do that. I had to be somewhere first thing in the morning, and... Uh, went out and we did that and when i came back <clears throat> we had no food <laughs> so i decided i would go to costco and i would get some bacon and some eggs and some butter while i was there and so uh, i did that uh, i made a mistake though i think i got the low sodium version of the bacon because i hear that that's the best one to get because there's no uh, sugar whatsoever in it and so uh, I decided to get that kind, but it, I had that for my meal when I got home uh, afterwards. So actually, while I was out, let me, let me step back. While I was out, I went by the McDonald's that uh, is nearby, the one that I went to yeah, like a week ago or less. Uh, $1.20 for a quarter pound patty, and so I got six of them again. And I had those um, for my first meal. I, I was hungry. I was not ready to wait any longer. And then went to Costco and I picked up bacon and eggs. And uh, later in the day, I had the bacon and eggs. And the bacon just, ugh, I don't know what it was. It didn't taste good at all. How do you make bacon that doesn't taste good? Um, but yeah, that's what was going on. The bacon just didn't have anything going on. Uh, and it uh it was it was not good i'm not happy with my bacon and i've got three more packages of it that i'm gonna have to keep eating so we'll see how it goes hello everybody it's day 74 of the beef butter bacon and egg challenge and i have to be honest with you oh that sounds ominous when i say it that way uh no i did not slip up again but uh, to, to be honest i didn't feel good today I uh, kind of felt achy. I had a headache. I had to take some ibuprofen. I uh, started getting uh, feeling hot and cold, feverish, and uh, just wasn't feeling good. And so I didn't eat much today. In fact, I didn't even take a picture of anything I ate. Uh, in the evening, I did eat. Uh, so I did heat up some of the brisket that was left over from what I cooked up the day before, and I did eat a little bit of that, but not a lot. Uh, I wasn't that hungry. The fat looked disgusting to me, which. You know, I don't know, it, it's, when we're doing, you're doing this, you think so much about what you're eating and how it affects you. And I start to blame everything on that Baconator, the bun that I ate with the Baconator. And I don't think, you know, three days later, or even longer, was it five days later, that's going to make me sick. Um, I think it's just a little virus or something. I did take a COVID test. I don't have COVID. Um... And, uh, but I just haven't felt good today. And I, yeah, I went, I'm gonna go to bed really early and uh, just I'm freezing cold or hot and I just don't feel good. So that happens, you know, even if you're doing carnivore, you have days where you don't feel good, I guess, you know? You know, we like to think that, hey, I'm eating right, so I should never be sick. Well, that's, that's unrealistic. And also, I can't use being sick as an excuse to cheat and to just get off the, the path again. And so, yeah, I just I ate a little bit of stuff. I tried to, and I stayed within the guidelines of the triple B and E. Uh, we'll just see how tomorrow goes. See how if I feel any better. All right, that's day seventy-four. Keep going, everybody. I'm gonna try. Well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep going. So you keep going as well. We'll do it together. You know, Marshall has a really good point there. Uh, you know, people, uh, and I'm guilty of it too. When you're doing carnivore, um, you know, you, carnivore seems to be the thing that fixes everything. 
you know, from mental health to skin health to uh, diabetes and heart disease, all of those things will be positively influenced by eating carnivore. Does that mean that you won't die of a heart attack or uh, you will never get a zit? <laughs> Or, uh, you know, it, it makes your immune system so much stronger, but does that mean you won't get sick? No, doesn't mean that. It makes it less likely. Uh, you won't get sick as often. Uh, you're more likely to survive a heart attack if you have one. Um, you know, all of us have uh, a lot of different baggage coming on, and that's one of those things that I've always wondered about. You know, I've switched to carnivore, but I've been eating regular for almost 50 years. So how much damage have I done and how much can I fix? Um, you know, in the short time that I've been doing this, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's something that's going to take a little while. And uh, it may, you know, there may be too much. Some damage is permanent, you know. Some things can't be fixed. Um... You know, have I done enough damage that I'm going to wind up with Alzheimer's anyways someday? You never know. Uh, I'll do my best to avoid that and uh, fight that, but it's possible that that could happen. Um, because, you know, it's not a magic wand, but it does make a big difference and help a lot. And it gives you quality of life. That's another thing, you know. Some people suck. Uh, you know, what? what would you do... You know, you, you go to carnivore and you get this great quality of life, but maybe your risk of heart attack is slightly higher. Is it something where you would be like, well, in that case, I'm going to switch back and eat this so that I don't have a heart attack? Um, or should I say I have a slightly lower chance of having a heart attack? Because that's the funny thing, you know, people die of heart attacks. That's the number one cause of death. And people die of it who are vegans, people die of it, who are carnivores, and everyone in between. But uh, your chances are lower, and that's uh, that's the, the thing that's what it's all about, you know? And, and you have a better quality of life while you are alive. You're not feeling like crap, feeling tired and, and garbage. You get sick like Marshall did, and it doesn't last very long. You get COVID, and most likely you'll be able to, you know, uh, deal with it rather than wind up in the hospital. Um, you know, that, that kind of stuff is all uh, some of the advantages of having, uh, of eating carnivore. But it's not 100% foolproof. There's no way to fix everything or to avoid everything, and we're not immortal. So sooner or later, something's going to happen. <laughs> we're going to die. So there is that. But the most important thing is to live while you're alive. And that's why I want to do carnivore, so that I can do so. Okay, it's getting super hot in here. I feel like I'm looking pretty sweaty on this thing, so I'm going to see you guys later. Uh, thanks for watching Big Anklevich on Health.